1936 Austin 12.6 Ascot Saloon in black. It's the 1400cc petrol engine, single carburetor. Very, very pretty looking car, this in black with the black windows with those nice big white walls. Right, body width wise, I'll start off with the bonnet. It's all nice and straight in the middle section of the bonnet. There's a little bit of wear up this section here where the bonnet, obviously, the bonnet's open in over. So there's a little bit of wear up the, the centre hinge there where they've been open and closed. And we've got some light surface scratches in the paintwork where it's been washed over the years. A good hand polish would square that away quite easily, I would think. Across the scuttle, we've got no corrosion. All nice and tidy across the front edge. A few little bits and pieces in the paint here and there, like I say, some surface scratches throughout where it has been washed over the years. And with it being black, you do sort of they do scratch a bit easier. The grill, nice and clean and tidy, all black as well. Down the front of there, the insert fins, they're all lovely and straight. Chrome's good across the top, a little bit of a stone chip dent in the fin there. The badges are all okay with some a little bit of pissing on, but it is from 1936, so that's what you expect. A very, very presentable and usable car, this. All, even around the, the vents on the on the ends inside of the bonnet, it's all okay. There's a few little chips, but all very very presentable, nice and straight down the front there. The headlights are lovely and shiny, nice and clear in the front of both headlights. We have got the covers that go on the lamps here. If I do some dodgy camera work for a second, we'll put those back on. Now we've had a look at the lights. We have got the covers that go on both sides, sort of blackout covers. Makes it look like you're up to a little bit more no up to no good driving around with those on. Bear with me a second then, I'll put those on. Lovely and straight across the front left hand arch, no corrosion down there. Bottom half of that valance, again, very, very clean and tidy. A few little stone chips, the odd little bit in the paint, but no rust. Lovely and fresh after a 1936 motor vehicle. The grill. I say all nice and straight. That front bumper's lovely. There's no pitting to the chrome work on the front bumper. As we come down that big swooping right hand wheel arch, again, lovely and straight. No dings, no dents. The yard sort of surface scratch here and there. The wheel arch, lovely and tidy. A few little stone chips of paint on the edge there, but very, very clean and tidy, as is the right hand side of the bonnet. No major dings or dents again down both sides. Good reflection to it. It's a deep, deep black, this one. All the wheels have got the white walls on, on the painted wires with a chrome hubcap. Nice and tidy across the running board. The rubber mat's all nice and straight as well. Up the driver's door, the gaps are nice and tidy, nice and clean. Across the top, all nice there. The odd tiny little mark in the paint here and there, but no corrosion once again. Lovely and flat as well. There's been some effort gone into that. Across the front edge and onto the vinyl insert. The roof's nice and taut. There's no lifting anywhere. There's no bits flaking off, even around the little sunlight window. All nice and straight as we come across the roof onto the back driver's door. Lovely and fresh there onto the arch. No corrosion, no rust, no dings, no dents. All in all, a very, very pretty, usable old Austin, this one. As you come down the back end, Again, I've got no complaints. There's the odd little mark like that on the paintwork. And again, some surface scratching to the boot lid. And a few tiny little blebs there. Sort of under the paint. Hardly noticeable. Around the back window again. Lovely and clean. No dings or dents or any issues with that. Again, there's a sort of little tiny marks here and there. Down the rest of that lovely spare wheel holder and bench is lovely, tidy. All the lights are nice and fresh on the back. There's no dings or dents on that back bumper. Lovely and straight, a good deep reflection to that. As we work our way around onto the left hand side, no scratching around the petal cap and again the arch. There's no rust down here, there's no corrosion down there. It's all as solid as you're gonna find one of these, that's for sure. Lovely and straight around that rear arch. Down the passenger rear door again, the odd little mark, but like, and I mean, tiny, tiny. In the sort of grand scheme of things, there's no bubbling at the bottoms of the doors or around the hinges. Very, very straight. Down the dry passenger front door, again, even around the handles, there's no 
scratching around those as we come onto the front half of that running board nice and straight again you can stand on it it's not going to fall off it's lovely and solid around the swooping big arch on the left hand side lovely and tidy there like i say it's sort of what it's definitely one of the best ones we've seen in respect of the, the 30s cars engine's lovely as well all black it's got a, a bit of class to it into the driver's front door the seals just sort of come away from the glue there there's a tiny little bit of a chip there on the door with that cherry red interior in superb condition no problems at all on the door on that door card lovely and clean all the handles are lovely and shiny there's no real wear at all to those into the seat now again lovely and soft when you sit on it no rips or tears showing minimal wear carpet sets lovely and red we'll lift that up and have a good look at that see where the battery is there lovely and red in there all the dials are crack free there's no cracks in any of the dials there it's a little bit dark in here we have got an aftermarket heading fitted in the glove box but it's all lovely and straight in here headlining as well unmarked lovely and clean as we go into driver's rear on the suicide door again door cards in gorgeous condition tiny little bit of a nick there where that's been put on rear carpet set again lovely and that rear seat again in superb condition a few little marks on the back base there of the rear seat and they are a slightly different color if you're really picking hard on that again the headlining unmarked into the boot now you've got this full down shelf which is lovely the attention to detail on this one's really really good this lifts up to reveal your spare wheel there like that and again in lovely condition in there passenger rear all the doors work like they should again door card absolutely perfect no problems at all with the door card and the rear seats on the left hand side showing minimal wear whatsoever across there good look at that headlining again as we come on to the front passenger seat which is absolutely lovely there's no rips there's no tears it's lovely and soft all the leather on this has really got a few little nicks here on the left hand side but the leather is really good when you sit on it it's lovely and soft Nice and clean and tidy in there. What a nice place to be sat. Into the engine bay now. 1400cc petrol. Straight. Straight six. This one. Toby's going to fire it up for us there. Toby said it does want a fuel pump switch. We've had to. Uh, Toby's sorted the fuel pump out. It failed on us the other day. But it wants a switch for the fuel pump he's saying. But it does run and drive this one. with that firing straight in the night from 1936 that engine is you're not going to find one as sweet as that anywhere soon that's for sure and there you have it just ticking over lovely and happy there the 1936 Austin 6 Oscar Ascot Saloon in black with a black glass the cherry red interior 